Hey beautiful, so today I'm going to be doing lip swatches on the new Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So I'm pretty excited to try these out. I did pick up all the shades because I do want to see how they are and I feel like if I don't get the shade now, when I go back, I'll have to wait forever. So I got them all. They do go at $7.99 each. So let's just jump into the swatches and at the end of the video I will give you guys my final thoughts on the product what I liked about it what I didn't like about it and if it's worth it or not so let's begin <music> show you my favorites out of the bunch that I would recommend to get so here are the shades right here that I love so this one right here that one is nude thrill so this is nude thrill this one right here that one is nude flush this one right here is possessed plum and then this one right here is vivid violet and this one right here is Berry Boost. These ones right here are ones that I would just be like, yes. The other ones are pretty. Like, don't get me wrong. But I feel like the ones that I swatched, those ones were like, I fell in love. With these matte liquid lipsticks, these are not like a drying liquid lipstick. Like the ColourPop, Kat Von D, LA Splash, NYX, etc, etc. It's not like any of those. This is a mousse texture. Doesn't dry, but it does look matte. Some do look glossy and some don't. It just depends which ones. But it does look matte and they do, it does transfer. Like, see? Transfers. Kissing the hubby. Bustle, 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 bustle. And then it just stains your lip. See, it just stains it and it still keeps coming off. It stains it, it stains your lips. And if you're eating or anything, it kind of gets on the bottom. So you got to be really careful with that because I look like a pendeja. Because I was eating a burger while I had the lips on and it kind of went down here. And it just looked like I was sucking on ice cream all day. It looks like my mouth was just like irritated. So just make sure... If you're wearing these liquid lipsticks, that you're really not going to just be grubbing like me, okay? Um, even when you're like drinking a drink, drink out of a straw, because when you're drinking a drink, I don't know about you guys, but my lip folds. So I get it right here. So that was my experience. Use a straw. Um, use a straw and just watch what you eat if you're going to be wearing these. If you are going to be grubbing, because you like to grub, I like to grub. I wouldn't say wear, don't wear this, don't wear this, it's just, it's just going to be everywhere and yeah, unless you have wipes with you, then okay, but I wouldn't recommend taking them, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend wearing this like on date night or anything or if, when you're going to grow up, this is more for like when you're with the girls and you know you're not going to be like eating much, whatever, you're just going to be chit chatting, you want your lip to be popping, then okay, but I wouldn't reach for it for like date night grubbing, any of that, you know what I mean? So overall, the formula is a mousse texture. It's not like a liquid lipstick. The smell... 
there's like no smell. It's like a chemical smell. And the applicator is just long. It's not like the L'Oreal ones. The L'Oreal ones have like a curve to them, like a like a tip. Let me show you. Here is the Maybelline one, and this is the L'Oreal one. I prefer the L'Oreal one because it's really easy to glide onto your cupid's bow. The Maybelline one, you gotta be really careful because you can overline your cupid's bow if you're in a rush. But overall, no biggie. Like when you're doing your lips, make sure to take your time because people will know when you rush your face. So yeah, the L'Oreal one, I think the applicator is a lot better, but no biggie. Not all applicators are like the L'Oreal one. So my thoughts on this, I would just recommend the shades that I swatched. I wouldn't say like this is like something you have to get in your collection. I did like how it stained the lips, but it's not something where I'm like, yeah, you gotta have it. It's more like of a, do you really want it? Are you a collector? Are you a hoarder? Then okay. But if it's something where you want to have something that is gonna be really, really good, don't go for this boo. There's so many other products out there that are better and that don't transfer a lot. Yeah. I feel like the only thing that this really did was stay my lips and make a mess because I like to eat, I like to kiss the babies, I like to kiss the hubby, and it just stains and moves around and it just looks not good. So <laughs> let me know what you think if you have tried these liquid lipsticks out. What are your thoughts on them? Did you love them? Did you hate them? I would love to know. And please leave me a comment down below of what liquid lipsticks I should try out next. I'm obsessed with liquid lipsticks and I just want to know what's new out there so I can just jump on it and see if I fall in love. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy these lip swatches, please give me a thumbs up and I hope you guys are having a, having a wonderful day. Besos a todos, and thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!